What, the, what was that? Ba, 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 boom. Where's that singing coming from? It's coming from me. Ba, 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 boom. <laughs> My God, does anyone say it's a ghost? That, that's right, Junior. The name's Artie Kendall. I sang in this studio back in the late 1930s. The 1930s, that's right. This used to be a radio studio back in the day. You sang on the old NBC radio show? I sure did. Wrote all my own songs, too. Of course, no one today would want to hear my silly old song. We would love to hear him. Wouldn't we like to hear his songs, folks? This is, a ghost comes by from the 30s. You got to hear his songs. Go ahead, yeah. Okay, folks, here's a little tune I wrote at the height of the Depression. Times were pretty tough, and I wrote this song for all the out of work hobos out there. <laughs> I've heard that lots of hobos live in caves <laughs> And they're spreading across this land of ours in waves They're riding on the rails We should throw them all in jails <laughs> Or round them up and make them all our slaves <laughs> Oh my god, that, that, wait a minute, that's, that's horrible, that's a horrible song you Didn't care for the melody, eh, Jimmy? Well, that, the melody was fine, it was actually kind of catchy, but the lyrics the lyrics are terrible. They're insane. Well, let's change the subject then. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? Well, that, that sounds nice. Okay, sure. All right. Here you go. Oh, women shouldn't be allowed to talk. <laughs> we should seal their lips with strong adhesive caulk. And if they try to write things down, we should drag them out of town and anesthetize their legs so they can't walk. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm sorry, that... Uh, no, that... Exactly. No, that... I'm... Don't listen to them. That, that, song was, that song was worse than the first one. That's terrible. Well, the truth hurts, I guess. Oh, huh? no, that's awful. Hey, you got a real Irish temper. I used to sing a song about the Irish. Listen up. <laughs> people's brains are made of corn <laughs> and they all get drunk before they're even born. okay that's ridiculous let's be back with louis the 14th it's been a drink up all our booze i've also heard they're into kitty corn here's a little song i wrote during the great depression those were pretty hard times back then and i wrote this little tune to cheer people up economy has slowed down to a stop but there's an easy way to put the country back on top the solution my dear neighbor is to just bring back child labor and work those little bastards till they drop oh, wait. oh my god you wait a minute wait a minute that's that's terrible you, you actually supported child labor? Sure did. Even had my own illegitimate kids make this suit for me. <laughs> Took them over a week, though, lazy little parasite. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that's just terrible. All right, let's change the subject then. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? Well, okay, that actually sounds nice. Why don't you go ahead? All right, here you go. Oh, women shouldn't have the right to vote. <laughs> I'd rather hear opinions from a goat. <laughs> They're clearly... Here's a little song I wrote back in 1935. FDR just launched the New Deal, and I wrote this little tune for all the out-of-work people out there. Oh, Roosevelt says we should help the poor. But I say they're no better than manure. Instead of giving them a hand, we should confiscate their land and make them live like rats down in the sewer. Badly boo. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. That's, stop that clapping. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. What a, what a horrible song. Not long enough, eh? No, no, no. It was, <laughs> it was those lyrics. You, you can't make poor, poor people live in the sewer. That's terrible. Yeah, you're right. They just contaminate the sewage. Oh, my God. Let's change the subject, pal. Uh, how about a sweet little song you used to sing for all the ladies? Okay, now you're talking a sweet little song for the ladies. That sounds really nice. Go ahead. Okay, here you go. Good. Oh, women shouldn't get to go to school. 
Anyone who educates them is a fool. Instead of reading books, they should focus on their looks and carry men's possessions like a mule. By a no, 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 this is just, oh my God, I'm, you're, that's terrible. That's the most sexist song I've ever heard. You wanted women to be illiterate mules? Not all of them. You know, the larger ones could be illiterate Clydesdale. Oh, that's just, you know. I, Terrible! I, no, that is it. You, I'm sorry. Get the hell out of here right now. Say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish. Here you go. What? Oh, Irishmen pour whiskey on their meat. Oh, for God's sake! And they always wake up face down in the street. <laughs> After booze goes down their throats, they all have sex with goats. <laughs> So the kids oh, have cloven hooves instead of feet. That's, I'm sorry, that's, that's just wrong. We're taking a break. We come back. Steve Harvey's here. Sit around. You're, no, I don't have. Here's a little song I wrote back in 1931. Mm -hmm. Prohibition was still in effect, and it was against a lot of drink. So I wrote this little tune to cheer people up a little. Oh, Al Capone should be declared a saint. Some say the man is evil, but he ain't. It should never be a sin to sell rich folks bootleg gin while the poor folks all drink toxic latex paint. <laughs> no, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? That's all, no, don't. That's all. That's what, what, what a, That's a horrible, horrible song. Too sentimental, eh? A sentimental, no. Al Capone killed people, and poor people shouldn't drink latex paint. You're right. They're usually too busy snorting watercolors. <laughs> Let's change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? You know, that sounds nice. A song for the ladies. That sounds terrific. <laughs> this, this one's for you, ladies. Okay, go ahead. here you go. Oh, women should be pregnant every day. <laughs> From their early teens until they're old and gray. And when they're tired of labor pains, we should wrap them up in chains and dump them into San Francisco Bay. Ploppity drop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's horrible. Oh my, what a hateful. Flippity floppity. No, no, down. stop saying those stupid flippity floppity bobbity boo. Women must have hated you when they heard that song. Oh, they hated me long before they heard that song, I tell you. After they heard it, they just tore me limb from limb. Well, I, I'm sorry, I can't say I blame them. Say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish listener. <laughs> oh, Irish people worship pagan rocks. <laughs> And they all hide extra whiskey in their socks. That's not true. Their priests are commie spies, and their nuns are really guys. Let's chase them off with strong electric shocks. Zappity Mitch! Zappity Do the worst pruner ghosts I ever met. Here's a song I wrote at the height of the Great Depression. Great Depression. Okay. A lot of hardworking farmers were going under back then, and I dedicated this little tune to them. Okay. Oh, the farmers say they need a helping hand. But I say we should kick them off their land. We'll send in lots of cops and burn down all their crops and turn their pastures into desert sand. Deserty do. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's no, don't applaud. That's terrible. Oh, thank you, folks. What kind of people are you? Oh, that's a wonderful a, That's people. a horrible song. Too heartwarming, eh? A heartwarming farmer. Farmers are the backbone of this country. That's terrible. Well, one man's backbone is another man's parasite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? Okay, a song for the ladies. Well, that sounds fine, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well, well, there you go. I Go ahead. This should be terrific. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Oh, women shouldn't disagree with men. <laughs> if they do, they should be locked up in a pen. 
We'll shackle them with chains and lobotomize their brains to make damn sure they don't disagree again. Lobotomy loop. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that the I have a lot of problems so with that song. In the eye. Just you just said the lobotomy eye. Lou at the yes, end of the I song. Did. That's not a word. Yeah, Second well. of all, that is one of the most offensive songs I've ever heard. That's worse than the farmer song. Yeah. You actually want to lock up women in pens? Well, not all of them. The larger ones could be tied up in stables. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, I'm just kind of rope them over I, the woods. I do not. This is terrible. Good. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I don't care if you're a ghost from the 30s or not. Just get out of here. Say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish. Listen up. <laughs> oh, the Irish shouldn't be allowed to breed. <laughs> we already have more drunkards than we need. <laughs> They're all just lazy slobs who want to take away our jobs. And when they cut their fingers, whiskey's all they bleed. whiskey -de -woo. No, wait a minute. You said whiskey de -woo. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll take a break. Mindy Kaling, when we come back, you can't sing that. Here's a little song I wrote at the start of World War II. Oh. A lot of people were pretty nervous back then, and I wrote this little ditty to cheer them up a bit. Oh, the Germans just joined with the Japanese. And they might let us join them, too, if we say please. Let's support the Axis powers by surrendering like cowards and beg for Hitler's mercy on our knees. Hitlery who? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you say Hitlery who? Yes, I did. Pretty that's popular a, expression. That's a day. horrible song. My God, you... You actually sang that song on American radio? Yeah, but it was a little more popular on German radio. Oh, well, I would think so. <laughs> kind of went gold, if you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, Hitlery who, yeah. Yeah, well, let's change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song you used to sing for all the ladies? Okay, a song for the ladies. That sounds uh, pretty nice. So go ahead. Okay, sure. here you go. Yeah. Oh, women shouldn't be allowed to think. <laughs> they should all be mindless zombies dressed in pink. With ribbons in their hair and a catatonic stare And some strong perfume in case they start to stink Stenchity stew oh, Wait a minute! <laughs> Stenchity stew? Yeah! Haven't you ever had Stenchity stew? Horrible. It's really That's good. the most offensive song I've ever heard! I'm surprised you weren't murdered! I was murdered! Oh, oh, well, there you go! <laughs> it was pretty brutal! <laughs> yeah, well, you had it coming, you bastard! Yeah! yeah well, well do me a favor, it. just uh, get out of here, buddy, would you? Say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish. Listen up! Huh? Oh, Irishmen have monkey DNA! <laughs> <laughs> and they drink all night so they can puke all day. God. We should lure them on to ships with whiskey, fish, and chips. And dump those lazy bastards in the bay. Drownity Mick. Drownity Mick? Oh, Get out! Get out! We'll be right back. Sarah Chalk is here. I can go. Here's a little ditty I wrote back in 1933. President Roosevelt was pretty popular back then, and I wrote this little tune about him. They say that Roosevelt is quite a guy But I say he's a no-good commie spy <laughs> It's clear we've all been had He reports to Stalingrad So let's find the tallest tree and hang him high <laughs> Lynchity Prez Wait, 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 wait a minute <laughs> Lynchity Prez? My, what a horrible song! Oh, too heartwarming, eh? Heartwarming? <laughs> You accused President Roosevelt of being a communist? Americans must have hated you for that. Well, things cooled down after they threw me down a mine shaft. Huh. <laughs> Let's change the subject, pal. How about a sweet little song I used to sing for all the ladies? A hmm? song for the ladies. That sounds great. Let's go yeah. ahead. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, here you go. Oh, women should be seen but never heard. <laughs> we should gag them if they ever say a word. <laughs> And if they claim that it's unfair, we'll just trap them in a snare and lock them in a cage just like a bird. Prisony gal. Yeah. That's terrible. Oh. Lock them up.
Don't let him don't, don't, don't applaud that song. That's horrible. Yeah. That's the most sexist song I ever heard. Yeah, you should have heard the one I wrote about Mother's Day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't like just, it at all. Yeah, Mothers just, are bad. Yeah, just... <laughs> catchy title, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just right. get the hell out of here, all right? Oh, say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little song about the Irish. Listen up. Oh, Irishmen get drunk inside the womb. <laughs> And they vomit every time they leave the room. They feed on dirt and grass, and they never wash their ass. And they use their bushy nose hairs as a broom. Nostrally sweet. All right, you're the worst guy I ever met. Yeah. It's terrible. Get out of here. Take a break. We come back. Artie Lang is here. Here's a little ditty I wrote right after the big stock market crash of 29. Okay. All right. Lots of people didn't have much money back then, and I wrote this little tune to cheer people up a little. Sounds good. The market crashed and that was quite a shock Now the poor folks are lined up around the block They all need food and jobs But I hate those lazy slobs And I'd love to bash their heads in with a rock Crackety skull Wait, crackety skull, wait a minute, wait a minute Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute No, that's a horrible song Too sentimental, isn't it? No, no, it's not sentimental You can't go around hitting people in the head with rocks You're right, it's easier just to whack them with a hammer Oh, for God's sake Hey, let's change the subject, pal How about a sweet little song you used to sing for all the ladies? A song for the ladies? That sounds nice and sweet I just hope it's not like the last song No, don't don't worry, it's a charming little ditty. Here you go. Right. Oh, women should be branded like a cow. Oh, my God. Let's fire up those branding irons now. They'll never have a say if their mouths are stuffed with hay. And we hook them up like oxen to a plow. Plowity gal. Okay, a plowity gal. Yeah, that's plowity that's gal. horrible. No, 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 no. That's the most sexist, horrible. Yes, thank you for the booing. That's the most sexist song I've ever heard. I'm surprised you weren't murdered. I was murdered. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a gang of housewives knocked me out with a brick and drowned me in a well, toilet. Well, good. I'm glad they did. You deserved a lot worse. I'm just glad you don't have any songs about Thanksgiving. Oh, well, actually, I do have a Thanksgiving oh, song. Gosh. Listen up. Oh, while well, most folks eat their turkey, yams, and pie. I'll be in a Russian whorehouse getting high. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Once I hock this suit for cash, I'll be elbow deep in hash. And all the opium and hookers I can buy. Hookity dope. Okay, hookity dope is a stupid thing yeah, to say. Well, that's what I Who I'm says sorry, hookity sure. dope? I do. No, no, no. Get out of here. We're going to take a break. We come back. Kanye West is going to be out here. We're going to come back. Here's a little Christmas song I wrote back in the 30s. A lot of folks didn't have much money back then, and I wrote this little tune to cheer people up a little. <laughs> oh, Christmas should be only for the rich. The poor can all go huddle in a ditch. If they ask for table scraps, we'll throw some dog food in their laps to remind them that they'll always be our bitch. <laughs> bitch wait a minute, wait a minute. The audience seemed to love it, but I, <laughs> I thought that was a horrible song. Uh, too sentimental, eh? No, no, no. Uh, you can't throw dog food in poor people's laps. You're right. It's more fun just to rub it in their head. Oh, for God's sake. Let's just change the subject, pal. How about a little Christmas song I used to sing for all the ladies? A song for the ladies. A Christmas song for the ladies. That sounds terrific. Okay, go ahead. Okay, here you go. Oh, women should spend Christmas doing chores. <laughs> While their husbands go and spend the night with whores We'll slip the pimp some cash And have a sleazy yuletide bash Then crawl home spent and naked on all fours oh, Wait a minute, wait a minute, that was horrible That's, that's the most offensive song I've heard in my life And you ended it with hokity hoo that was just terrible <laughs> It's all 30 slang, you know? Yeah. Hey, how about hearing some of the carols we sang at the whorehouse? No, 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 no. No? Two songs is anyway. enough. No more. Just please go away. Oh, say, you got a hot Irish temper. I wrote a little Christmas song about the Irish. Here you go. <laughs> oh, Irishmen spend Christmas throwing up. Because <laughs> they chuck their whiskey from a giant cup. 
They pass out till New Year's Eve, then wipe their puke off with their sleeve. And when asked if they want more booze, they say, yup, yup, it is Okay. You're a bad guy. Well, You're true. terrible. Uh, we'll take a break. We come back. Rashida Jones is here. Sit around.